Are you looking to learn how to increase your credit score? My name is Mike Chavez and today we'll be looking at ways to repair and boost your credit score. This will be a mini series designed to help you improve your credit score. These will be the first steps in a larger series about home loan refinance and for first time home buyers. This video is broken out in sections and I'll leave the timestamps below. But to further help you, I can send you a free credit workbook and budget templates to help you on your journey to financial freedom. So get out your notepad and be on the lookout for a couple of hot tips in this video that you don't want to miss. And before we start, remember to do all the things like subscribe, click the bell and comment below. And with that, let's dive in. Okay, so let's talk about the big three credit agencies. They are Experion, Equifax, and TransUnion. One thing to note about these companies is that they don't talk to each other and you may have different scores for each of those companies. The reason for that is that each agency calculates your credit score slightly different, but in general, they follow basic principles. In addition to that, your creditors or collectors may not report to all three. So information that's on one credit report may not be reflected on another. Okay, so let's get into the steps. Step one, check your credit score. Many credit cards that you have offer it as a perk for free. But keep in mind, these scores from these credit cards are only an estimate. They're only guessing what the credit card agency's calculation is. One of these credit agencies, Experion, offers unlimited free checks on their credit score. Next step, pull your entire credit report and clean it up. If you're planning to have another person on your loan that you're applying for, they will need to pull their credit report as well. You can pull your credit report free once every year. I'll leave links in the description. And now, Mike's hot tip number one. Okay, today's first hot tip. Pull only one report at a time. You can avoid my rookie mistake. I got all three at the same time, I fixed my credit, and then I had to pay to get an updated report to verify that those items were indeed fixed. So my suggestion, pull one, fix your credit, and then pull another one to check for free. Now make sure that you pull all three and fix them before applying for anything. Because remember, since creditors and collectors may not report to all three agencies, you may get a surprise on that third credit report. Okay, the next step, find all the negative marks and verify them. Identity theft is very real and you may not even realize that some of those items on the credit report aren't even yours. Keep in mind, negative marks on your credit report usually stay on for about seven years. The two big ones to look for are any foreclosures or bankruptcy. Either of these can greatly impact your score for about seven to 10 years. Next, look for any errors in the reporting and dispute them. You can ask those creditors to prove the validity of the debt. Now, if the creditor doesn't respond, it is removed from your credit report. This is also works well for old penalties or where the company has gone out of business. If they're out of business, obviously they can't respond and it gets removed from your credit report. Next, for valid items like late or non-payments, call these creditors immediately. Keep in mind, lenders like to see no late payments in the last 12 months. This is a critical period for you. And even a 30 days late will stay on your credit report for seven years and can drop your score as much as 50 to 100 points. And as logic applies here, multiple late payments are worse, as well as those 60, 90, or 120 days late. So when you call these creditors, try to negotiate with them. You could also send them a goodwill letter. Keep in mind that it's in their interest to work with you. You owe them that money and they will want you to pay that. Keep in mind that there are humans on that other side, so just be calm and respectful. Mike's hot tip number two. Okay, for my second hot tip, if you offer to pay it in full, you can ask them to waive those late fees and remove the late payment from your credit report. They're under no obligation to, so being friendly and courteous is your best bet. But whatever you do, do this before it gets to 150 days late or it's gonna go to collection. At that point, you can't do anything about it and you'll take a severe hit to your credit. Because if that happens, they'll sell that debt to a collection agency for about four to 10% of what you owe. It'll show up as a charge off on your credit report, which will also drop your credit score another 50 to 100 points. In the next video, we'll continue with more credit score tips and tricks. 
That's it for this session. Don't forget about the free credit workbook and the budget templates. Remember to do all the YouTube things for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching until the end. If you have found value in this video, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe, and comment down below with your feedback and questions. This will help me provide you with the quality answers you're looking for. Also, please share this video with anyone you know that you think could benefit. Pay it forward and let us all help each other out. Make me proud.